Hello guys, welcome to Computer Lab Space YouTube channel. So this will be our uh, final session for the program 8. So where we will continue from the previous session. We stopped uh, uh, when we click on this calculate monthly EMI, we were getting the uh, principal amount minus down payment result, right? So today we will actually implement this formula. So it will be a mathematical formula. We'll just uh, uh, three, four lines of coding and done we can close this program 8 okay we will directly jump into our uh, program this implementation we have to put this formula in our server okay uh, this is our EMI loan calculator server so the earlier we were actually uh, subtracting down payment from the principal amount okay today we will give the actual implementation for that so generally we have the parameters okay principal amount down payment interest rate and tenure so generally if we are paying principal amount and the down payment suppose when we are going to purchase a car okay so we will pay suppose the total price of the car is 10 lakh and we are uh, paying a 2 lakh as a down payment so what we will do we will actually subtract from the principal amount so our actual principal amount will be uh, 8 lakh right so for that principal amount principal amount minus down payment okay whatever the down payment we pay that should get subtracted from the principal amount okay for that principal amount we have to calculate the EMI so one part is done next is interest rate so if, if we talk about interest rate generally we talk in uh, in terms of year right for 12 months so we have to break it down for the one month for that interest rate equal so we have to uh, divided by 12 percentage right divided by 12 multiplied by 100 okay so we will get the interest rate for per month per month interest rate okay next now we have the principal amount and interest rate and the tenure okay these are all the three factors we need actually principal amount interest rate and the tenure so if we have these three parameters then directly apply to those three parameters into formula we will get the result okay okay now we will actually uh, implement the formula okay i'll take double emi equal so principal amount right so if you consider here principal amount into interest rate principal amount into interest rate then here we have 1 plus r power of n so in java we have uh, math dot power okay we can use that math dot power 1 plus 1 plus interest rate okay and power of n comma tenure okay this is done this part is done okay and the left part is the uh, the remaining part is this uh, right side one okay divided by 1 plus r we will take the same divided by mat dot power of 1 plus interest rate comma tenure and minus 1 okay 
here we'll close this Okay, now start close the bracket here. Open the bracket here and close it here. And save this. So we got the EMI, okay? So I'll return that EMI from the server at the ADL server. Okay, I'm returning an EMI and this EMI will have the decimal points, okay? Now we will format that decimal points into two digits. For that, we can use the decimal formatter. Okay, so I'll use the decimal format. Decimal format. Okay. Formatter. Go to decimal format. And I'm telling for this formatter that I need uh, two digits after the decimal 0 dot 0 0 okay so this formatter if we apply for the any decimal number or decimal point so it will consider only two digits after the decimal point <coughs> so I got the formatter I'll go with where we are getting that EMI okay here I'm getting the EMI so I'll apply the format okay formatter dot format and the EMI the written type of this format is string okay dot to string you can do string buffer the return type of this format is to string okay string this is a string okay fine we no need to do a to string that's fine the output from this format is the string so that we are assigning to emi result placeholder done right so i'll start the server first okay i'm starting the server first Next, we will start the client application that is Carlon EMI. Okay, this is started. I'll start the now. I'm starting this client application. Okay, cool. Started now. We will test. So, for example, 12 lakhs 75,000. Okay. So why I'm taking this is I know the uh, EMI for this okay because I was paying earlier so I know I should get the same result if I get the same result then our car EMI calculator application is working fine with ADL service okay down payment I paid is two lakh seventy five <coughs> okay and interest rate is seven and the loan term is in months right it's it will be 84 months means seven years okay so i should get fifteen thousand per month emi okay let's click on calculate monthly emi and see whether we'll get the same number or different super fifteen thousand ninety three rupees so if we are round off we will get the 93 cool so what i will do i will reduce this to uh, five years that means 60 60 months okay i should get 19000 something okay calculate again yeah 19801 cool that's it guys then so our car emi calculator is working using aidl service <coughs> it's not uh, so if it is a normal program whatever we were doing in a server so these three to four lines of code will be there in our client application but here we are using the ADL service so it acts like a, a library or a server where the client will request and server will respond with the actual EMI 
okay so now if if another application comes into picture so even that application also call this calculate emi method and get the emi they don't have to implement their own uh, emi calculation okay so that's it then so we can close this uh, program 8 uh, okay thank you all then so please subscribe to our channel so share it with your friends and families if you have any queries please uh, put it in your comment box so we'll get back to you thank you all bye bye